this tutorial, we're going to be talking about a 90 degree change of direction single spay. Now this one can be a little bit difficult, <laughs> but there are a few tricks that I can show you to try and get some consistency on it. The problem is that we're trying to change such a big angle that our anchor seems to want to travel upstream and it's very hard to control. Well, let's start with the basics. We know our lines on the dangle. We're going to place our casting foot directly 90 degrees off stream. We know we want our anchor to land a rod to a rod length away from us. And we know we want to be pointing that way. So those are the things we know we want to do. And we know that the, the beginning of the lift, unpeeling the sticker and bringing it off the water, that smoothness is going to give us control. And then we also know that if we look where we want our anchor to land, in theory, it should land there. So let's put all those things into practice. Lift, sweep, place your anchor straight down. Simple. I'm going to show you a trick to help you make that change of direction more predictable. What I want you to do, make the lift, but bring the tip of the rod into the bank, swing round, make the cast. This swinging round movement repositions, repositions the line really nicely. Here's a little tip. I want you to imagine that you're in the cockpit of a big 747 jumbo jet. It's got that dome shape on the front, hasn't it? It's got a side and then a dome and then a side. Well, just imagine that you're in the cockpit and you're scribing the tip of the rod along the inside edge of that cockpit. And what that does is it gives you a mental idea of the shape you're trying to make with the rod tip as you swing in and swing out. It's this undulating motion in, scribing in and scribing out. And if you do that, every time your anchor will land there nice and straight. Again, one of the big mistakes in any spay cast is lifting too high. Because if you've gone too high, you can't incline, you can't carry on going high. The only way you can go is down. And what happens is you get the bloody L again. We don't want any squiggles or lines in our anchor. We want to lift, scribe, and make our forward delivery. Oh, swing and around. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Especially if you've got a big 15 foot rod, 60 foot spay line. But what if you want to flatten it? Maybe put the D loop underneath that branch. Maybe get a bit more distance. I'm going to show you a little trick to make that D loop a little bit more dynamic, a little bit more energy efficient. Instead of swinging really high like that, and then around and creating a very sort of big undulating H shape. Flatten it off, come in, flatten it off like that. Come lower, make it more dynamic, more line speed, tighter loops. Flatten the swing. That's the 90 degree spay. And now I'm on the right bank with an upstream wind, so I'm going to do a 90 degree single spay backhanded. 